Galileo Galilei, we pronounce sentence. It was a time of discord in the Christian world. Threatened by the Protestant Reformation, the Roman Catholic Church demanded strict adherence to its dogma, enforced by the violent threat of Inquisition. Fear of heresy was in the air. In this turbulent era, Galileo Galilei would become Europe's most celebrated scientist. He was so confident, he was such a brilliant writer, he was a tremendous wit. If there's any one single person who can be said to have created modern science, it's got to be Galileo. His early experiments laid the foundation for modern physics, and his observations revealed new truths about the universe. What we have in Galileo is a package, then, of somebody who is mechanically and practically very good. Somebody who is a great philosopher about nature, and somebody who is ambitious. But ambition drove Galileo to question the church's view of the world and revolutionize our understanding of astronomy. Ironically, Galileo himself was a faithful Catholic and gave his daughter Virginia to the church. Joining the Sisters of St. Clair, she wrote letters to him, many of which survive today. They reveal a daughter's concern for the anguish of her father, whom the church had silenced as a heretic and imprisoned in his own home. But Galileo would never lose his passion for explaining the natural world. I wanted people to understand that nature gave them eyes to see her works, but also brains to make them capable of understanding them. Who was this man who saw further than others into the far reaches of the universe? What does his suffering tell us about the recurring clash between religion and science? Galileo was honest when he said that the Bible was the true word of God. He just didn't think it was a good astronomy textbook. Galileo's works were banned by the church for centuries. And not until our own time would his rift with the church be healed. Galileo would pay a terrible price, but his discoveries would change the world. <laughs>